Alrighty, welcome back. Let's go. Let's see how far we can get before the time is, of the day is done. Resume. But if I required further evidence, I needed only to behold the gruesome trophy Mobius held aloft. A severed head of Vorador. Ah, he killed Vorador. final triumphant kill of Mobius's cutthroat mob. Alright. His execution marked the annihilation of the vampires. Far from channeling me into Nosgoth's past, Mobius had propelled me over a century into its ghastly future. The to be honest, I can't believe he fucking, f like, fell for that, dude. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I am... I tell you to send me somewhere in time. Oh, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> Let me just... Kent behind this little detour was unmistakable. Having failed to make me his obedient assassin, Mobius intended to keep me ignorant of my true destiny, which clearly lay in Nosgoth's past. While his deception only reinforced my purpose, Mobius had effectively stranded me here. This left me no course but to explore the era I now occupied and see what changes the century had wrought following Cain's ill-fated decision. Perhaps time had cleared a path for me into the mountains, where I might unearth more clues mountains. behind the mystery of Janos Audrin. Got it. Mountains. Janos. I got it. I'm in. No, that's, I mean, that's when you, you fucking kill Mobius, and then you figure out how to use the time machine on your own. Like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go just a little bit, like, three minutes in the past. Or something like that, you know? Or in the future. What you don't do is trust the guy who is obviously completely untrustworthy to send you where you want to go in time. What pathetic charade is this now, Mobius? No charade, Razia. Oh. Only the entreaties of this martyred spirit. Your pleas mean nothing to me after all your deceit. You have propelled me into Nosgoth's future, Mobius. Oh, he can't be killed by Raziel. Okay. Here. I am truly sorry, Raziel, but it was necessary. Consider it the last valiant act of a doomed man. You have strayed from your purpose, and now behold the result. Gaze upon the wasteland you and Cain offered together. I fail to see how I'm responsible. You spared Cain, and by doing so, you have released a multitude of horrors upon this world. I can accept that Cain has murdered me, Razia. As the Time Guardian, I foresaw that incident long before it occurred, and I take some small comfort in the fact that Cain remains the sole survivor of his vital breed. But you have single-handedly made my sacrifice meaningless. Your argument is disingenuous, Time Streamer. I cannot see how killing or sparing Kane's future self would alter these events. This wasteland was created by Kane's original refusal at the Pillars. And amidst all these twists and turns, that event has never changed. You are coming. I think you've gotten tangled. 
as Cain clings to his precious. He's literally doesn't to die at Cain's hands. Anything that Raziel does to him won't stick. Ellis the Exile, we just fucking demonstrated not three scenes ago that you can deny what time wants from you. The sword. Uh, don't stab. Seat of power. The pillars sink into a mire of decay, dragging all of Nosgoth down with them. I don't think this has anything to do with the pillars or Cain's failure to sacrifice himself. I think you're simply afraid because you don't know what he's up to. He's a wild card, isn't he? Now I get I get the idea that it's it, it is and always was and always will be this this way. No matter what you think is your choice is not your choice. That's that's the problem with timey wimey bullshit like this. It's like you could think you made a different choice, but you didn't because it was always going to be this way. In which case, who gives a fuck what you do? Which makes everything not matter, and I hate that. And you don't want his influence in your game. Which is why you wanted me to eliminate him. Well, now that he survived, you have no idea what's coming, do you? Maybe, for the first time in your entire life, you're terrified that he may have truly found a third option out of the dilemma you orchestrated for him. Cain's lies have addled your mind. Leave this place and trouble my spirit no more. If you even are a spirit, you've forgotten. I have a way to tell for sure. If you're willing to risk it. I didn't think so. Oh! <laughs> he offered to eat his ass, and the guy said no, huh? Steam versions work now. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. In order to make in order to make my my version work, it was a very easy D, just a DLL file that you put into the 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 Steam files. It was that that was it. Very easy. But yes, there is one one like very low uh, strain bullshit that you have to do, or that I did. But as far as like bullshit that I've had to do in the past to get games working, this ain't nothing. Oh, okay. I have to go, yeah, up to the mountains and I'm guessing I have to go. Through the swamp? To the Dark Forge? It really does not help you at all. I mean, I'm guessing that that, that little path is to the swamp here? Or maybe the lake? But I fucking have so long of a way to go. Hold on. I can hear it, dude. Listen to this. Hail. Let me let me just peek out. Let me just take a gander out the window. It's it's not huge. It's not like huge hail, 
but it's uh it's I don't know, like marble sized, like you know, regular marble sized hail. Um, but it's created a a river, a river of uh, like just water, like it's like it's a flash fucking flood on my street. <laughs> it is nuts, dude. And also. Auto, uh, automotive, like res- restoration people are just loving this right now, and insurance companies are fucking hating it because this is going to cause a lot of damage, like a lot of hail dings on people's vehicles and roof. Yeah, and roof people. Well, I'll tell you this. Um. I would say probably about half of, of uh, my inheritance from my dad when he died, like half of it, maybe not half, but a good chunk of my inheritance and our the kids is from uh, hail damage and his his uh, he had rentals that he owned. The insurance paid off, and he just re he re re roofed them himself, so he kept. All of what it would have cost for labor and all that shit. Banked it. Basically, he paid himself to re-roof all of the houses that he owned. Dude. Oh my fucking god. All right, I'm not going to wander around. So the first place, I just I just want a direction of where to go. I just don't want to wander around for hours and go in the wrong direction. So, Jesus, I did shut it, up! But thank you for being one of the streamers who does not need to play BG3 today. Smile. You're welcome. I I have to go back to the pillars. That's all I needed. I just needed a a, a location that I know of where to start my journey. Because, you know, with also with timey-wimey shit, the environment changes, so paths open up, paths close off. I'm using, I'm using a, a basic walkthrough in place of a fucking decent map. Because the game does not provide you with one. Dan's Gaming does it all the time. He has gui guides for the games he plays and doesn't tell people he's using them. Well, that's normal because you ever been on how long to beat? And you look up a game, you're like, there's no fucking way you, the average person beats this game in this amount of time. Well, it seems to me like the average person uses like wikis and Google and shit like that. Or speed running, yeah, or they're speed running it. Oh, wait, no, this isn't.
Motherfucker! Uh, G cubed, thank you for the uh, five months. By the way, and you're welcome. I find that when I use like the wiki or Google or something like that, it's to limit the time I spend, like wasted time, which is wandering around. I use it mostly to figure out like, okay, they didn't really tell me where to go. Or I didn't pay attention. Fuck off! shots every time good god are you a fucking timeless warrior are you a fucking dunce Fucking back here again, huh? Great. This is where I need to be, I hope, right? Right? Yes, I'm outside. I hear the rain. I think. Oh, these fucking guys.
<sighs> Only want to see you reaping in the purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. I only want to see you! Only want to see you! In a bubble rain! A spirit. Oh, that's where I came from. That's not where I want to go. Sound is fucked. No, no, it's not that. It's it's this. That's the game. The game is doing that. I'm in the spirit world and it's it's supposed to sound like that, I guess. Oh, I don't need that. I'm already at full health. of that and I could have just went in the water and took a fucking left turn and that's it. I didn't have to do any of this bullshit. I thought there was a path over here. There's no path over here. Oh yeah, there is. Right here. Right here. This is where, yeah, right here.
He's gonna hit me with his coconut gun! Oh yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure that Dark Siders was in, in, inspired by, at least in some, in some small part by this game. Absolutely. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. And then I call the dev a fucking filthy, dirty liar. Like, you are shitting in my mouth and calling it a Sunday, sir. Thirty FPS. I don't know if that has anything to do with button presses, but. Sometimes it does not read my my second jump input to do the fucking glide. And if that was the first time it would happen, I might not blame the fucking the input lag or whatever the fuck it is. But that was like the fifth time that it's happened, so there is something going on there. Think it heard me? Think someone heard me talk about talk shit, and they uh, they made me crash, crash me. Cain <laughs> refused the sacrifice. Cain refused, Cain refused the, Cain refused the sacrifice. At least it wasn't eons since I last saved. Shit in my mouth and tell me it's a Sunday. I'll shit in yours and you can tell me too. Fucking much. Just can we can we just go straight, please? Thank you. All right on Broadway, not as a singer, but I've I've done a lot of theater in my life, so I think I'd be I think I'd be just fine in a straight play. Yeah, just throw those doors open wide. Let all the demons follow you into the place. That's a fucking great idea. These were the pillars so familiar to my blighted eyes. 
But now that I had begun to learn their true significance, I regarded the pillar's destruction with a new, enlightened sense of horror. And horror. I questioned now whether Cain's simple refusal, his mere ambition, could truly have caused such devastation. I felt... Who's that? Some darker influence was at work here. She looks familiar! As I approached, I discerned the spirit of Ariel. Bound here now for more than a century. Forever am I bound. Hope abandoned. My spirit tethered to this place. What destroyed the circle could not touch me. For I was newly dead and beyond harm's reach. I alone was spared the descent. <laughs> Look at that person, symbol. It looks like a cane alone. Like a smirky face or like death. a Ah. When the Praptor's poison seized Cain even in the safety of the womb, much more than just his destiny was lost. All of Nosgoth lost balance. Consider us now, both of us less than we once were. I, pure but insubstantial, and Cain terribly real. Listen, listen, I'm gonna let you finish, but... If you took off that shirt, would one of your boobies be all like, like desiccated and like, like you know, like corpsey, or are they both like both good and full boobies? Like, you know, I'm just curious. Does that half thing go all the way down? But corrupted. Your imprisonment here has deranged you, spirit. You fixate on Cain because you believe he is. All right, it's telling me something. It is definitely telling me something. It's telling me that, whoops. That it is time to quit for the day. Yeah, it's telling me it's time to quit for the day. So, <laughs> yeah. We're going to go ahead and call it a day right there. Because Soul Reaver is like, eh, nah, nah, we good. We good, homie, we good.